Hi there, my name is Stephen K. Amos and welcome to Balloon TV. Here we are at the Gilded Balloon, the world famous Gilded Balloon, the hubbub of talent. We're here in the Riviera Bar where it's happening every night. What is it doing every night? Happening! Did you hear that? That's the sound of fun. You should be here. So folks, let's see what happens in this week's news. The rain didn't keep everyone away from the Gilded Balloon, I can tell you. One night last week, who do we have? Joan Rivers and Jill Gascoigne bringing up a bit of Hollywood glamour. Joan loved it so much, she came out the next day with an American film crew. Where was I when they were around, eh? I want to be the next remake of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Can you imagine that? Master William. The Gilded Balloon are seeing packed houses everywhere. Gamarjabat, Late and Live, uh, the drags are doing fantastic business and great reviews are pouring in for Tim Minchin and, and Lynn Ferguson. Just pick up the papers and see. So what's happening with Lady Garden? Apparently all the stars have been in to see their shows. Adrian Edmondson, Ben Elton, Jennifer Saunders. Mmm, maybe stardom beckons. So folks, don't let the rain put you off. The Gilded Balloon, this is the place to be. Get here. Now it's time for Fly or Die. This is the section of the show where one of our Gilded Balloon flying team sees how many shows they can sell you in 20 seconds. Last week, Brian notched up six shows. So let's go out and join Beck Hill on the streets to see who she's got with her for this week's Fly or Die. Hi Stephen, okay now we're here with another segment of Fly or Die! I've got Fee with me here this week. Now Fee, you've got to beat six flyers in 20 seconds. Do you reckon you can do it? No problem. Fantastic, all right, on your marks, get set, go! Mail job at Balamori Fame, 8 p.m. the dining room. Gamanja Bat, Japanese comedy, 6 p.m. debating hall. Two for the price of one, funny twice. 10.30, the wee room. Greg Fleet, Australian, back for more. 9.30, the nightclub. Ali Cook, a touch of Vegas, magic and comedy, 9.15, sportsmen's. So you think you're funny, 21st birthday gala, Wednesday 13th, Festival Theatre, 8.30. <laughs> Alright, stop. That was fantastic. That was, that was 6 in 20 seconds. Alright, you didn't beat Brian, but you're on par with him. Alright, we'll see if we can beat 6 next week on Fly or Die. Back to you, Stephen. Well done, Fee. Ah, oh, you got 6. That equals Brian. So, can it be beaten? Let's find out. Tune in next week for Fly or Die. Feature time. This week, we sent Bex out way past her bedtime to see how one of the most legendary late night comedy gigs is set up. Hold on to your seats, this is gripping viewing. It's Friday, it's Edinburgh Fringe, and it's almost 1 a.m. So where do you go for live comedy when it's this late at night? Late and live. Have you been to late live before? Yes, I have. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Third year in a row. No, first time. I come back here every year because I love it and it's got better every year. This celebrated comedy avatar that has seen a thousand comics has been Gilded Balloon's late night comedy haunt for over 20 years. It's where performers and punters alike come together to check out the best stand up and live music in the fringe for an unforgettable night of laughter, mayhem, and dancing on, of course, some of the famous late and live heckling. So come with me as we check out behind the scenes as the crew get prepared for another night of comedy chaos. Each night, the Gilded Balloons debating hall venue gets transformed into late and live. Now the crew have to work against the clock to make sure that the show goes up in time. Cabaret seating has to go in, stage set, lights checked, sound checked, video crew set up and video intros set to get the crowd going. These guys are fast. Then House can give clearance for the comedy masses to be let in. Thank you, the house is open! You can have your tickets out and make sure you get your hand marked as you go through the door thank you. Okay, that's the audience in. The show's about to start. Now, I'm really sorry, but if you don't have a ticket, you can't come in, so I'll see you guys after. Wow, the cruise fast turnaround pays off. Along with the hilarious acts, this is definitely a fringe experience that shouldn't be missed. Especially when this year you have great compares like John Bishop, Stephen Grant, Patrick Monaghan, Stuart Goldsmith, Phil Nickel, oh, and a certain Mr. Stephen K. Amos. So stay up late, come and get a ticket, and go check out the comedy phenomenon that is late and live. Ooh, okay, that's the band started. I'm gonna go have a boogie. Cheers, Stephen. 
cheers, Bex. Where's my drink? This happens every week. Oh, well, well done, young boy. Thank you. Have you tasted it first? I uh have. -huh. Good. Now, I'm very, very pleased to ask you to help me welcome our guest for this show. Give it up, please, for the new art club. Come on. Woo! Thank you very much. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you, right? Nice That's to meet you. Right. Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, right. pretty good. I noticed you guys haven't got a drink. No, well, I was, you know, I thought I, that was the idea. We were going, ah, oh, it's, you it's seem magic. Well, well trained. Ah, oh, I love the blue one. Beautiful. Now go. Mm. Go, boy. Looks delicious. Cheers. Now tell me, is this your first Edinburgh? Um, this is the first yeah. time we've done it in a comedy venue. We're, not, we're a dance company, so we normally play in dance venues. Uh, so this time we decided to come to a comedy venue and see how the work is taken. Where was the inspiration for all the work? You know, it's well, dance, we've, comedy. Yeah, we've, always, we, we've always made um, dance comedy shows together. We've been working together for 10 years. But it's always, we always kind of put it into dance venues. It's promoted as dance. Uh, and the first time we did it was in 98, and we just thought, well, let's try and make a funny dance show. I don't know what it's going to be like, but maybe it'll be funny. So we did. Well, we have been noticing we've been getting rave reviews, and uh, obviously it must be meaning, hopefully, to packed houses. How do you now find the transition from a dance theatre to, uh, to, a, to a comedy setting? How do you find that? Well, the audience are a bit different, and their, their yeah. expectation is slightly different, but that's one of the things that we're enjoying about the show, is that they come with some expectation. I think when people come to see a dance show, there's none of this expectation that they're going to they're going to have some kind of holy experience that it's going to be bettering for them. Whereas when people come see comedy, I think they're more inclined to think that they are going to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you getting laughs in different places now then? Ooh, it's Do you just think really different hard on different days. It's weird oh. because of course some, you know these kind of little details that some kind of dance type people might find funny, and yeah. then there's more other things which are more just generally. Funny. And then the show is about trying to start a new dance craze. Yeah. Right. So it gets the audience interacting with each other, not dancing with each other, no. but oh. not yet. But maybe after the show. That's so the kind of we're going to have a new, up. we're going to have a new dance craze. Oh yeah. And it's you, already, we've already seen people doing our dances around the streets. And oh Edinburgh. my! Seriously. This seriously. could be the thing that yeah. kicks off in Edinburgh. Yeah. Take a look at this clip. <laughs> wow. Well, Soundman just said he's been doing one. Have you been doing it as well? Yes. Which How? one? Which one? Garden on sex attack <gasps> and the bum one. And the bum one? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It's it's a, they're both very popular with heterosexual men, I don't know why. Each venue has a tech, and a tech is a person who is full of wisdom. They're there to help you. They pass on information about every minute detail. It's tech talk time, and this week we're talking to the fabulous Phil. <laughs> My name is Phil O'Halloran, production manager with Guild Balloon. <sighs> Sorry. So. Thanks, Phil. That was very enlightening. Thanks for guiding us through that with your light of wisdom. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Balloon TV. Tune in next week for some more fun. Why should they tune in? For fun! Say it again! For fun! It's like you mean it! For fun! You hear that? For fun's sake, tune in. See you then. <laughs>